Wise, you're back. I've already set up the TV to record. You don't have anything coming up for the next two days, do you? Recording? What's got you so excited? Don't give me that. Surely you haven't forgotten what day it is tomorrow? The Vision Demolition Case begins proceedings first thing tomorrow morning. Our old buddy Nicole is going to be on TV representing the Canvas Street residents in court. We can take a little credit for ourselves for helping to expose Vision and its conspiracy. I think it's worth putting the trial on tape. You're thinking we could sell Nicole a copy of the tape, aren't you? <laughs> Guilty as charged. The hearing's tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure Nicole's leaving today because it's going directly to the Supreme Court. Redo TV is streaming it right now. If you're not doing anything, come watch it with me. Welcome to this special preview of the Vision Demolition Case. In a few moments, Charles Perlman, the accused, the cunning hares representing the citizenry, and others involved in the case will, as is typical, travel to the new Eridu Supreme Court a day early to await trial in the special court of law airship. Tomorrow's court proceedings will be streamed in full, and citizens are encouraged to follow the proceedings from home. Nicole, the blimp is almost here, and you still haven't finished packing. And on that note, Nicole, do you really need to pack so many things for court? What do you know? The whole city's following this case. In other words, it's a chance for us to make a name for ourselves. So, of course, I want to make sure I'm putting my best and prettiest face forward. I'm not kidding. I even printed off some flyers about us to pass around to potential clients out in the gallery. Nicole, that's your phone. Sounds like a message. Thank you. <gasps> huh? Nicole, what's wrong? Mm, nothing. Uh-uh, don't tell me. It's another debt collection message from one of our loan sharks. Nuh-uh. Put a sock in it, Nekomata. We don't owe anybody any money these days. Except for Faithen. And those other five loan sharks. Why are there more debts than last month? Nicole, what's going on? Who's that message from just now? Uh, hmm? What's going on? Who is that? So many messages. And they're all blank? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Which are all likely to be at the center of debate during tomorrow's trial. Next, we have a special guest. I thought Perlman and Vision's crimes were so outrageous that the trial would just be a formality. I never thought they'd be debating every little detail in court. Let alone the precautions they're taking for if Perlman just so happens to break his silence with a not guilty plea. No wonder Nicole's been so worried about this case. I hope things go well for her tomorrow. Nathan! Hello there, proxies. Hey, Nicole, Ambi. What are you two doing here? Nicole, shouldn't you be on your way to catch that blimp right now? That was the plan, but I think there's something I need to discuss with you first. Or else I'll be distracted in court tomorrow. What's going on, Nicole? What do you want to talk about? Faithen, remember how you asked me a while back to help you track down the hacker Rain? And decrypt the Bellobog Heavy Industries memory unit? Hang on. Are you telling me your conscience has finally overcome you, and you're here to tell us that you don't know her at all? Of course not! You can doubt anything about me, but not my connections. Even if Rain is the hottest new thing on Internet, she will still back me up. It's just some weird stuff's been happening to her recently. I smell a conspiracy. I can't say right now whether or not it's a conspiracy. Basically, it's just this. Lots of us on the internet, including me, get messages every now and then from Rain. But they're all... blank. She's a hacker. So at first we all thought she was testing something, but it's been going on for nearly a week now and Rain hasn't said a word to anyone. And it feels like things are getting worse. She used to send one per day, max, but she's already sent three this morning. Huh. 
That does sound strange. Nicole, could I borrow your phone for a sec? Sure. What's up? Barry, can you take a look at these messages from Rain and check to see if they really are blank? Very well, second assistant. Master, second assistant, analysis confirms these messages contain absolutely no content at all. Unlike the messages sent by other contacts, however, the sender's location isn't encrypted. Coordinates show the messages were sent near the Ballet Twins building. Hold on. Did you say the Ballet Twins? What's wrong, Nicole? You've gone completely pale. Is there something wrong with that building? You must not care much for urban legends, Proxy. The Ballet Twins are twin towers infamous for paranormal phenomena New Eridu. People say, Quit it and be enough! <clears throat> uh, anyways, fact of the matter is, those two towers were swallowed up by a hollow years ago. Ordinary people can't transmit data in and out of the hollows like you two. So how could Rain's messages be coming from there? Unless... The messages are actually from a ghost. Andy, didn't I tell you to shut up already? Based on her capabilities, I don't think Fairy would be mistaken. Thank you for your faith, Master. I can confirm the coordinates of the message's origin are accurate, but due to a lack of security cameras nearby, I am unable to obtain further details. So wise. Seeing as how we're in a hurry to find Rain, and since Nicole is so upset by this, what do you say we go over to the Ballet Twins ourselves to take a look? Oh, are you sure you want to go investigate? Oh, are you scared, Wise? And to think after I let you watch all those thrillers with me. Looks like it was no use. Nicole, we'll go check on Rain's location, but we'll likely end up in a hollow. Can you lend us and be in the others? Of course! It's not like I need them in court tomorrow anyway. Oh yeah, this is for you. It might come in handy. If you're gonna look for Rain, you should at least know what she looks like. Hmm? Hang on, Nicole. The girl carrying the backpack? That's Rain? Huh? Is something wrong? I've seen her. She often comes to our store. Huh. You really can't judge a book by its cover. If you want to talk about hidden identities, doesn't Faith and use the video store the same way? Hmm. Anyway, I'll leave Rain to you because I've got a blimp to catch. Proxy, I'll take Billy and Nekomata with me. Meet us later near the Ballet Twins. Goodbye. We made it. But where are the ballet twins? Just across the river inside the hollow. Did that hacker's message really come from the hollow? <gasps> Wait! Look above the hollow! That's the top of the ballet twins. So that's it. I'd heard the companion hollow had shrunk recently. <gasps> and that's left the top of the building exposed. So that means Nicole got that bizarro message from there, right? Even if that's true, what was Rain doing in a place like that? Okay team, first, let's think of a way we can get ourselves up there.
here. The ballet twins. Ooh. Impressive. This is cold, huh? Yeah, it may look all glitzy, but something doesn't feel right. Be careful, everyone. This thick fog in here it may hold danger. Phew, uh, that almost made me jump. <laughs> I don't think we should stick around here. Let's hurry up and find her. Entry into Target Hollow, Ballet Twins area confirmed. The ballet buildings were lost to the Hollow ages ago. The lights inside don't work. We'll have limited visibility on this route. Careful. Lights off, candles on. Nicole would approve. We're sleeping better? We're saving money. Your command. Confirmed. Go. Thunder. What are you waiting for? Catch a bullet? Starlight? Show bright! Everyone okay? I got careless. I didn't think it'd storm us like that. Are... are we back where we started? The spatial disorder here seems to be rather unique. Let's try to avoid any... unusual enemies.
It's not there this time? Stay on your toes, everyone. Master, the smart building management terminal here is still operational. I can activate this terminal to reveal nearby areas for exploration. Ooh, even the lights are back on here! That thing's still here! Hmm, looks like it's deliberately avoiding the light. Interesting. Is it afraid of the light? Let's switch on a few more terminals and see. Avoid them by heading left. Wait a minute. There's a flashlight. Really? Hey, manager! Shine the flashlight on that guy! Activator reaction lost. 
It works, but it really drains power. Valve status analyzed. The valve opens only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. This lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately I cannot help you open it. Retreating. Try all the tools you can find. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. Read the last one to me! Nice! Another area's lit up! Let's try to turn all the lights on. 
Those enemies we ward off with our flashlights? They don't seem to come back, right? We can take advantage of their absence. Get over there, pronto! This place twists and turns like a maze. Plus, it's cold and damp. Way worse than all the other hollows. Oh, I hope the kneecaps I just replaced don't rust. I hope you didn't get cheap ingredients, Billy. That's why I'll stay away from budget restaurants and save my stomach the hassle. Hmm? What's wrong, Andy? Ever since we set foot in here, I feel like someone or something has been watching us. Same! I got goosebumps as soon as we got here. And I keep feeling something slithering around down by our feet. Ah! 
I just felt it again! Hey, watch the tails! Oh, my bad. Hang on. What's moving over there? Ethereals. Take them out. Uh, where the heck did these pests come from? I don't feel like fighting them. All these ethereals are making me feel kind of sick. Should we go from here? Hang on, let me check. Please, stop there. <laughs> 